This is Zotri Montego Bay Wellness and Spa. Take a look at this comprehensive review that me and my wife have done for this resort in Jamaica. large as it can be and there's not a lot of activities going around on the pool but it is a very good relaxing pool the bar staff comes up to wherever you're at there's no pool bar but there's enough staff here to make you any drink as soon as you get a little low right behind me is a very nice infinity wall of the pool to the Caribbean and um, it really only gets about three feet deep. It's, it's nothing, there's no craziness in this pool. The nice thing about this pool is because there's only about 49 suites at this resort, there's no one here at five in the morning saving chairs with those towel clamps, their towels, their beach bags, a book, a random flip flop. There's none of that here, which is very, very nice. The pool, I would give a five out of 10 because it's just simple, it's average. There's nothing great about it, but there's also nothing bad about it. It's just a pool, that's it. talk a little bit about the activities in the beach at Zotri um, Resorts. There really aren't any. Um, I would almost give this a 0 or a 1 out of 10, but there is one thing that they do really well and they offer free snorkeling to just go out in the middle of the Caribbean and just snorkel wherever you want to go. You have about 45 minutes to an hour, which is pl plenty of time. They show you where stingrays are, they show you where sharks are, they show you where the jellyfish are, they show you where the schools of fish are, they show you all types of different coral reef out in the Caribbean. It is amazing. However, that's the only good activity that they have here. Nothing is really free. You don't get free floats, you don't get free snorkel gear. Uh, there are a couple kayaks and, and boards to take out. Now, as you can see with the water, there's no one ever in the water. It's because if you're a beach person, this is not the place for you. This is not a beach friendly, clean, white, soft sand type of place. This is a very wildlife habitat kind of area. There are fish everywhere. There's stingrays all over the place. You just look off the pier and you'll see thousands of fish. And there's also seaweed and coral everywhere. So to be able to, to swim in the beach, it's not really there. And also, if you look at the beach line here, there's only really seating for about 10 to 15 people. The beach is very small and narrow. It does have some length to it, but it's not that nice. It, it, there's nothing too nice about the beach. There are little crabs that come out of little holes all over the beach. That's about it. Now, as far as other activities, this is the type of place that if you just want to get away, unwind, be left alone, and have first class service, this is where you go. You're not going to be bothered by loud music. You're not going to be bothered by the foam party in the pool or kayak races in the pool or people doing jello or body shots off each other. This is not a party place. This is a very calm, cool, collected, just sit back, relax, take a nap kind of place. If you don't want to talk to a single human being, you don't have to talk to anyone. That's just the kind of atmosphere that we have. 
all in all, the activities, the beach, only because of snorkeling, I give it a two out of 10. Let's talk about the food. It's okay. I think that's the best way to put it. The menus don't really change. There's only about three or four different restaurants that you can eat from, and each one of them are open at different times of the day. I would probably give the food here less of a score, but because they have jerky joes with jerk chicken, sausage, pork, shrimp, it really kind of, it adds to it. The breakfast menu never changes. It's the same 10 items every single day. So after being here for about three or four days, it really gets hard to pick what you want for breakfast. Uh, lunch changes a little bit from restaurant to restaurant and dinner changes a little bit from restaurant to restaurant as well each day. On Saturday nights, there is a Jamaican party with a buffet style food. However, Plus is the room service. Room service, they pretty much cook you anything that you want, anything that you request. Um, there is no specific menu for it. It's all the food that they have. So room service was definitely a huge plus for us. All in all, the food for this resort, it would be really pretty low actually. However, because the jerk chicken is so good, homemade, and it's the seasoning and the sauce is spectacular, I give it a six out of 10. Let's talk a little bit about cleanliness at this resort. Definitely one of the more cleaner places we've ever been. There's nothing around here really broken. Um, there's no chips in the paints. Everything is well maintained. The floors are always cleaned. Your room gets cleaned three times a day and refilled with the mini bar. Uh, if there's, there's never any plates, there's never any cups, there's never any glasses lying around here. The bar is always clean. Everything is very, very clean. Even the public bathrooms around the pool are very clean. Cleanliness here is definitely a top priority for all the staff. I would give cleanliness an eight out of 10. Hospitality, by far the best part of this resort. It is amazing. As soon as you walk in, you're greeted by everyone at the front desk, everyone that can help you. Everyone is extremely nice. After you check in, you meet with your personal assistant at the hotel who answers all questions and pretty much helps you organize your calendar for you right from the get-go with any kind of excursions you wanna do. Uh, helps you with calendar management, pretty much. Then after you meet with them, you will be assigned a personal butler. Uh, that butler will also, in most cases, I have read that there's a few times where they haven't, but they will give you a cell phone to reach them at any time, which is phenomenal. Now, us personally, the four days that we've been here, haven't even used the cell phone once because the butler is just everywhere in this resort, always walking around, and makes himself extremely available to everyone staying at this resort, that if we ever needed anything, we would just ask him. So, uh, I mean, he even sent us text messages on his day off or, or any time during the day asking if we're okay, if we need anything. 
really above and beyond service with the butler. And everyone else here, from the waiters or bartenders, everyone is great. They start remembering your name, they start knowing little things about you, they'll remember your room number when you're checking into the restaurants. Everyone makes you feel one of a kind. You're not just another guest to them. You really do become part of family. And it's, it's a great experience. And that is why with hospitality, I have to give it a 10. There's no other place out there that I've received such first class service with every single person in the staff. So overall, Sotri, Montego Bay, wellness resort, spa, whatever it is, it got a 31 out of 50. A nice resort for relaxation. I'm not gonna say that this was a horrible resort because there is a certain type of person that likes a resort like this, that just wants to get away and take the weight off their shoulder. We look forward to, uh, to come back. We'll probably try a different hotel. Not sure if we would come back to this exact one, uh, but Jamaica as a, as a whole, it's nice. Uh, you know, a lot of people say how dangerous it is. A lot of people say, you know, how it's not the safest. That could be true outside the resorts, but when you're in these resorts, you feel at home. And that's kind of, that's what they go for. That's their goal, is to make this feel like your home. And they take care of you. And they do a great job. That's our trip. If you haven't already, if you could, please hit that like button. And even better, hit the subscribe button. So next trip that we go on and we do a full review, you'll get the notification when that video is all set and done. Until next time, Jamaica, you've been good to us. No problem, man.